Have you ever wondered what going on an interstellar voyage would be like? To travel beyond our solar system and experience the unknown wonders of outer space. Space exploration could become a reality if we could traverse these vast distances quickly enough. How fast can we really travel in space? In this video, we will look at the current state of space travel and explore some potential breakthroughs that could dramatically reduce our journey into space. We'll investigate the different forms of propulsion available and uncover options hopeful scientists are working on that could revolutionize interplanetary transportation. If you're new here, don't forget to comment, like the video, and subscribe for more content. Remember to watch this video to the very end. Current theories on faster space travel will shock you. A Brief History of Space Travel Space exploration has always been a fascinating subject for humans. After all, our ancestors have looked into the night sky and wondered what lies beyond our planet. In 1957, we finally had the technology to start venturing into space when Russia launched the first artificial satellite, Sputnik 1. Since then, we've launched several other satellites, probes and rovers into space as part of our exploration efforts. One of the most iconic moments in space travel history was when Neil Armstrong became the first human to set foot on the moon in 1969. Since then, numerous missions have been launched with astronauts and robotic vehicles that continue exploring deep space. However, the technology from Earth to the Moon and beyond is prolonged. What do you need to travel fast through space? For us to travel fast through space, a powerful engine is needed that can generate massive thrust. This engine has to generate enough energy or power to break through the forces of gravity and propel the spacecraft forward. Propulsion systems usually require fuel, such as liquid hydrogen or solid propellant, to achieve this, while more advanced forms might even use nuclear energy. However, these engines will come with specific challenges, such as the amount of fuel required for long-distance travel and the difficulty in controlling them due to their massive size. In addition, fast space travel requires the craft to survive the extreme temperatures and pressures that come with high speeds. Another crucial factor for traveling deep in space is navigation. Because we can't see our destination from far away, we need a reliable way to calculate and adjust the trajectory of our spacecraft during its journey. To do this, navigational systems use satellite data, signals from Earth, and even stars to mark out the most efficient path for a spacecraft to travel on. Finally, fast space travel requires advanced shielding technology to protect passengers and equipment from radiation and reduce the impact of friction and other forces while traveling. Shielding technology can help slow down high-speed objects, such as when an astronaut fires thrusters out of a spiral orbit. What is the currently available technology for fast space travel? Space agencies such as NASA rely on some of the most advanced propulsion systems available today. These include LAMS and Variable Specific Impulse Magnetoplasma Rockets VASIMER, which use fuels to generate thrust but at very different speeds. LAMS Liquid Apogee Motors is usually used for low-speed maneuvers and can generate enough thrust to push a spacecraft into orbit or change its speed and trajectory. These engines use liquid hydrogen as a fuel, combined with other gases such as nitrogen and helium, which are ignited using electricity. It creates a hot gas that pushes the spacecraft forward. The Vasimir is a much more powerful engine that uses electric and magnetic fields to generate thrust. It runs on two fuels, an electrically charged gas called ionized plasma and hydrogen or argon. The Vasimir can yield much larger speeds than LAMS and has been used in potential mission profiles for deep space exploration. China and Russia have also been developing their propulsion systems for spacecraft use. China's Long March 5B rocket carries a powerful hydrogen-oxygen engine called an S5, capable of generating large amounts of thrust for fast speeds and long distances. Meanwhile, Russia has developed the RD-180 engine, which can generate up to 1 million pounds of thrust 
and launch satellites into orbit. Other fast space travel technologies currently available are solar sails made of reflective material reflecting light and radiation from the sun to push a spacecraft forward. Nuclear thermal rockets use nuclear fission to heat hydrogen fuel and produce thrust. Photon sails harness energy from laser beams to propel a spacecraft forward. Ion thrusters use electricity to create thrust. These technologies have been used in various missions and experiments, with some showing more promise than others. For example, using solar sails, NASA's Deep Space One mission reached a top speed of 58,536 kilometers per hour, 36,373 miles per hour. Meanwhile, China's Chang'ang-2 satellite achieved a top speed of 38,000 kilometers per hour, 23,625 miles per hour, with its electric propulsion system. A unified space effort could bring about even faster speeds and further universe exploration. Combining our knowledge, resources, and technologies may unlock unimaginable space travel possibilities. What speed is needed for fast space travel? Most of us are familiar with the light speed barrier set by Albert Einstein's theory of special relativity. It states that it is impossible to go faster than 186,000 miles per second in a vacuum. But what if we could? The reality is that much slower speeds are needed to travel between planets in our solar system. The distances involved mean that, even at light speed, for instance, the closest star system to us is Alpha Centauri, which is 4.3 light years away, meaning that a round trip journey would take 8.6 years. It means for interplanetary travel, much slower speeds are needed. For instance, it took the New Horizons probe over nine years to reach Pluto from Earth and only managed a maximum speed of 51,800 miles per second, just 27% of light speed. Calculations using Newton's laws of motion show that a speed of at least 10% of the speed of light is needed to make human spaceflight feasible. It would enable a journey to Mars in just three months and a trip to Alpha Centauri in about 80 years. What is the current speed record for space travel, and how is it attained? The fastest any spacecraft has ever traveled is a staggering 253 miles per hour, 407,316 kilometers per hour, which was achieved by NASA's New Horizons mission in 2015. This remarkable feat was accomplished using an Atlas V rocket and a combination of gravity assists from Jupiter and Pluto. To put this into perspective, it would take less than two minutes to travel between London and Edinburgh at that speed. Unfortunately, this is not feasible for traveling around the solar system due to the massive fuel needed to achieve such rates. Some scientific theories could help us crack the speed barrier and propel us through space faster than ever before. Fusion drives Fusion drives are a theoretical form of propulsion that would work by combining hydrogen and helium atoms to create massive amounts of thrust, allowing ships to travel incredibly fast in outer space. They require immense energy to run, so they would need a power source capable of producing massive amounts of energy. Nuclear Pulse Propulsion Nuclear pulse propulsion is another theoretical propulsion that uses the explosive force created when a nuclear device is detonated. This force can propel a spacecraft forward at breakneck speeds. This technology is only in the early stages of development, and its use is highly regulated due to its potential for destruction. Photon Drives A photon drive is a propulsion system that utilizes light energy to propel a spacecraft forward. It harnesses the power of photons, particles that are made up of light, to create thrust. Photons have no mass, so they can't be used directly as fuel, but by bouncing them off a reflective surface in the engine, a reaction force is created that propels the spacecraft forward. The advantage of this propulsion system is that it theoretically could reach higher speeds than chemical or electric propulsion. However, it's still largely theoretical and hasn't been tested in space yet. Photon drives offer an exciting possibility for faster than light speeds, though more research is needed to understand how this could be achieved. Warp Drive Theory Warp Drive Theory suggests that it may be possible to exceed the speed of light by warping the space-time continuum. This idea was first proposed in 1994 by Mexican physicist Miguel Acuberi and has since been theorized to be a possible way of traveling faster than light without breaking any physical laws. The theory suggests 
that particles could hypothetically move around space-time by creating an inflated bubble beneath their craft, pushing space in front of it and pulling space behind it. It would theoretically allow a spacecraft to travel faster than light while remaining stationary relative to its immediate surroundings. NASA has even tested the concept in recent years with their Eagle Works lab experiments. Although warp drives remain firmly in the realm of science fiction, they offer an exciting glimpse into what could potentially be the future of space travel. Antimatter engines, theoretically the most efficient. The most efficient way to get around in space is theoretically with an antimatter engine. Antimatter engines convert matter and antimatter particles into pure energy, which could be used to propel a spacecraft at tremendous speeds. However, this engine has yet to be developed due to the difficulty of creating and containing antimatter. There is also a problem of dealing with its vast energy output which could easily exceed that of a nuclear explosion. Despite these obstacles, if an antimatter engine could be created, it would likely revolutionize space exploration. Light Sails Another theory for faster space travel is using laser-pushed light sails. This propulsion system would use a powerful laser to push a reflective sail, causing a reaction force that propels the craft forward. Light sails could reach very high speeds if given enough time and power. For example, if a light sail with a 1 km width was given enough energy and time, it could theoretically reach up to 10% of the speed of light. It would result in a journey from Earth to Mars being only two weeks long instead of months. Although this idea has existed since the 70s, it's much easier said than done. For one, the power requirements for a laser of this kind would be astronomical, pun intended. In addition, the sail would need to be extremely thin and lightweight to reach such speeds. The materials used for these sails would also need to withstand extreme temperatures and radiation levels. Nuclear Fusion Nuclear fusion is the final and most important theory for faster space travel. Nuclear fusion occurs when two or more atomic nuclei form a heavier nucleus, releasing energy. This propulsion system offers the best possible speed and efficiency since it produces no exhaust or waste products. In addition, the engines used for this propulsion would be much smaller than those used for chemical rockets, making space travel more affordable. However, the technology to enable this type of propulsion isn't yet available, and scientists are still researching ways to use nuclear fusion as a propulsion system. Scholarly Research on Faster Space Travel Scientists have conducted several research studies to understand better how fast we can travel in space. A study from the Max Planck Institute for Extraterrestrial Physics examined possibilities for accelerating spacecraft to near light speeds. This study concluded that the highest rates achievable with current technology would be between one and two-tenths of light speed. Furthermore, the study also determined that craft could be accelerated to near light speeds using nuclear fusion or fusion propulsion systems. Can humans withstand such a speed? Another factor to consider when discussing the theoretical possibility of faster-than-light travel is whether or not humans can withstand such speeds. Researchers have begun studying how the human body responds to high g-forces experienced during spaceflight at close to light speed. They concluded that although it would be physically challenging, humans could theoretically endure a sustained rate of up to 0.9 c, 9 tenths the speed of light. To achieve this feat, you'd require sustained levels of acceleration, pressure suits for protection from the g-forces, and a spacecraft built to withstand extreme temperatures and cosmic radiation. Theoretically, this could be done with existing technology or by developing new technologies. What materials are needed to construct such a spacecraft? In addition to the propulsion system, spacecraft designed for super-fast speeds would need both a strong and lightweight material to construct it. The scientists have already investigated and tested carbon nanotubes in this regard. This material is solid yet remarkably lightweight, making it ideal for constructing spacecraft capable of traveling near light speed. What opportunities could be unlocked with faster space travel? Here are 11 ways humans can benefit. Faster exploration of space and the potential discovery of new planets. 
solar systems, life forms, and resources in our galaxy or beyond. More efficient travel for astronauts, research probes, and satellites to explore other planets and galaxies much faster open up new possibilities for interplanetary trade and communication. Increased safety for astronauts due to the ability to quickly escape dangerous situations such as space debris or other hostile objects. Improved delivery times for supplies and resources between Earth and other space colonies, a significant factor in successful long-term colonization projects. Enhanced tourism opportunities, with more people being able to experience space travel in less time. Greater ease of access to resources on other planets, such as minerals and water ice, for use on Earth or other settlements. More efficient communication between spacefaring vessels, since faster speeds allow for larger data transfers at shorter distances, enabling real-time conversations across great lengths. Increased interstellar travelability allows for fantastic opportunities like space-based vacations or even longer space exploration exploration missions to distant galaxies, and improved chance of survival from large-scale catastrophes on Earth, such as a global pandemic or asteroid impacts, being able to move people and resources off-planet quickly, access to new forms of energy and propulsion, such as antimatter or antimatter-powered engines, could enable faster and more efficient space travel. Further understanding the universe through studying the effects of increased speeds on objects in space, potentially leading to groundbreaking discoveries about physics, astronomy, and cosmology. Faster space travel could unlock incredible opportunities for humans to explore, learn, and benefit from the universe. With the right level of resources and commitment, we could one day unlock the mysteries of interstellar travel, allowing us to explore farther than ever before. Until then, we can only hope that scientists continue to push the boundaries of space exploration and who knows where we might be able to go. Thanks for watching. Remember to share, like, and subscribe for more in depth videos.